Well, Prince Kuhio Day is this weekend, and joining us today with a great way to celebrate and continue to honor the life and legacy of Prince Kuhio is Drayana Khalili, president of the Hawaiian Association of Hawaiian Civics Club. Aloha, welcome. Aloha, thank you so much for having of me. Of course, thank you so much for being here. Now, of course, this weekend there's a lot of fun planned. There's the parade as well. Um, but before we talk about that, let's talk about Prince Kuhio and why he was such an important figure for us here in Hawaii. Sure, so not only was he in Hawaii, but he was our second delegate to Congress um, from Hawaii. And he did so much work in his nearly 20 years there. And we want to make sure that we continue to honor his legacy and all the, all the things that he started while he was in Congress. And, and even though it's, it's, you know, clearly 100 years later, we want to make sure no one forgets, right, all the work that he did. So everyone knows about, uh, you know, how he was so instrumental in forming the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act, which is the DHHL program that we know it today. He's the founder of the Association of Hawaiian Civic Club Movement, which started with the first club in 1918. But he also did so many other things. He helped set up some of the national parks. He set up the county government system as we know it today. And then he also got a lot of federal money for some of, you know, key transportation infrastructure, which people just kind of overlook. Mm -hmm. And so part of the celebrations this weekend are going to be part of this bigger effort for us to, you know, honor and celebrate, but also remember all the work he did. Definitely, because I think, you know, some people really gravitate toward, towards some of those highlights, but don't realize really how much was accomplished right. under him. Exactly. Um, now, of course, again, you're with the Association of Hawaiian Civic Club. What exactly is that? What do you guys do? Great question. So it goes back to what Kuhio had started when he was the delegate to Congress. So as he advocated for, you know, the Native Hawaiian community, a lot of his colleagues in Congress just didn't know who that was because the people that they had in mind from Hawaii, you know, weren't the Native Hawaiian community. And so he gathered a group of his friends who were, you know, very smart, hardworking professionals and said this is and formed the first Hawaiian Civic Club and said these are the people for whom I'm advocating. And so we, you know, keep in mind his original vision and we've carry that through for the for the last century and so we have 61 individual and autonomous Hawaiian Civic Clubs that are all organized today into the association we have about 3,500 members and every club does their own thing in in terms of advocacy and community service and every year we have an annual convention where all the club members get together and discuss issues that are important and then those become our platform for advocacy whether it's to the state legislature to county councils or even to Congress. Wow, that, that's a huge membership, I mean, mm -hmm. in terms of the count that you guys have. And so what are some of the different, I guess, programs and clubs that folks participate in? So we have clubs all over Hawaii and all over the continent. And so some oh, wow. clubs okay. really focus on community service, some focus on scholarship fundraising so that they can send, you know, children from our community to seek higher education. Others are very uh, focused on specific issues. Some focus on education, others on healthcare, others on proliferation of Olelo Hawaii, our mm -hmm. language. So everyone does a little different take on how to work toward improving and bettering the conditions of our community. Oh, I love that. And of course, so important. Now, of course, what we're talking about also is this weekend, Prince Kuhio Day. Uh, what are some ways that all of us can continue to honor the life and legacy of Prince Kuhio? Well, in addition to coming to the, the parade to celebrate with us and the Ho'iki Iki at Kamakanali after, I think every day, uh, well, what, what I share with our members is, you know, when you do something, right, that touches the legacy of the work that he's done, <clears throat> I'm just, you know, it's important to remember that, but also to think of, you know, he had such foresight and vision, and if we can fast forward and, and kind of channel that foresight and vision that he had, in the 20th century and think of what it means for the 21st century, I think Hawaii would only be better for it. So just act with foresight and, you know, think of things that make Hawaii better and then act on those. Definitely. And you mentioned, of course, one of the ways is going to the parade. So what are the details? How do we head out? And then you mentioned Kamakana Ali'i. What's happening there? So the parade route starts at Kapolehale and ends at Kamakana Ali'i. And I I think it's starting at three o'clock at the mall. There's a Hoikeike, which is, we used to do all of these activities in Waikiki. And so the Hoikeike was usually at Kapilani Park. And it's just a chance for, for vendors, but also community organizations to, to kind of talk about with the public events that they do or programs that they do and to get people interested in that. So that'll be at the mall and it uh, will continue through the evening. But the parade is at five o'clock, again, from Kapolehale to Kamakanali. And we wanted to bring this parade and celebration to a community where Kuhio, you know, helped develop, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of homestead land out there. And so we wanted to change the celebration of it this year instead of having it in Waikiki. 
I think that's really important too because you know this really makes it I feel like more focused on the community obviously a lot of visitors would watch the parade and then learn more but I think a lot of visitors are going to be drawn to the west side for this too so to help boom business over there I think that's a great idea yeah we're excited we're excited to try it and we hope it's a success and we'll hope to be out there next year if it if it's a big hit wonderful and speaking of being out there of course you guys are going to be out there yes. but so is KHON so we're going to be live hosting the show so make sure you check it out uh Kamaka Pili, of course going to be hosting it along with Paula Akana and then um, the Living 808 crew is going to be giving you live reports from the parade route as well so super excited to be a part of that and of course I know you are as well thank you so much for joining us and talking all about Prince Cujillo I mean you know this week especially is a really great way to remember and to really appreciate all that he's done and to celebrate and that's what we're going to be doing especially on Saturday thank you so much thank you